In a first of its kind initiative, 1 lakh people from rural areas will receive property cards from the government under survey of villages and mapping with improvised technology in village area scheme launched by Prime Minister Modi. The scheme would help people to use their properties as financial assets for evading loans. The Bharatiya Janata Party Central Election Committee met on October 10th to finalize the remaining candidates for the Bihar Assembly election. The second such meeting was attended by many senior leaders including Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah. Indian agricultural sector has recorded a high in exports with a 43.4% increase in the first half of fiscal year 2020 compared to that of 2019. Reportedly, the commodities have seen an increase in exports include non-basmati rice and wheat. Transport Minister of Delhi Kailash Gahlot announced that the Delhi government will exempt battery operated vehicles from road tax. The official notification said that the Lieutenant Governor exempts taxes with an immediate effect by using the powers under subsection 3 of section 13 of the Delhi Motor Vehicle Taxation Act of 1962. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy has accused a senior judge of Supreme Court of his intentions to destabilize the government. In a letter addressed to Chief Justice of India Reddy has stated that the judge is supporting the TDP party and has influenced the Andhra High Court in cases involving TDP. Karnataka Chief Minister BS Yadurappa announced that the schools in the state will go for a 3 week midterm break from October 12th till 30th. The order came after several teachers and students test positive for COVID-19 in the state. The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has approved 322 projects under the Bharat Mala Prayojana program which aims at the improvement of highways. These projects cover a total road length of 12413 kilometers out of which 2912 kilometers have already been completed. India stood at the 155th position out of the 158 countries which were surveyed regarding annual expenditure on health by Oxfam. Reportedly, India spends only 4% of its budget on health as opposed to the recommended 15%. PepsiCo India President Ahmed El Sheikh stated that the company will increase the investment to 814 crore in its snack plant in Uttar Pradesh since it is extremely optimistic about the future of Indian market. He informed that the investment would create 1500 jobs in the company. BCCI announced the name of the players for the third edition of Women's T20 Challenge. The four-match event consisting of three teams, Supernovas, Trial Blazers and Velocity will be led by Indian cricketers Harmanpreet Kaur, Smriti Madhana and Mithali Raj respectively and will be held in UAE from November 4 to 9. Thank you for listening to Briefly News. Have a wonderful evening.